Congratulations. New world or not, some things remain unchanged. <laughs> the look. What look? Boldly charging headfirst into the jaws of your enemy. Courageously risking the lives of yourself and your teammates. Just to play the hero. <laughs> This is the Fire Dragon all over again. Fire Dragoon. My memories may be fragmented, but as I recall, I killed the bastard. <laughs> and all it cost was a village. Ah, of course. I see it now. The look. Cut him some slack. It wasn't that simple. It never is. <laughs> Which is why I sent you to help. If Spider-Man hadn't come along today, we could have lost far more than... Than the Sanctum? Or Wanda. She means I could have died. Again, putting an end to her eternal crusade against my mother. You've been through a lot. For now, it's enough that you all made it back in one piece. More or less. <laughs> We'll talk more later. Get some rest. <laughs> All right. Hey, yeah, I don't know what he's going on about. Damn. You got some decent hang time, even uh, given you were wearing what 70, 80 pounds of chainmail. <laughs> On the stark scale of rank, I mean, he's not wrong. Books, I give it a solid six out of ten. Don't worry, you'll get there with a little help. It is doubtful you could have done better. If you could, you would not have raised me from the dead. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't go all rabid zombie demon on me. It was just a little constructive criticism. <laughs> you did a commendable job, considering you were, you know, reborn yesterday. I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. <laughs> so, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here, other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. I do not have a quill. Even better. <laughs> Relax, Tony. I simply jest. It is an ink derived of the spider lily flower. Red spider lily flowers. Of course it was. Obviously. <laughs> With just a touch of Manphibian blood for power. Haha! -ha, another zinger. And we'll just leave it at that. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room. <laughs> Alright. Thanks for that info. Hi, I'm Tony Stark. But if you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. I call it the Spark, a secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual, private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your cape-wearing, world-saving <laughs> compatriots. You might ask, Tony, Aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, so they like talk to each other. Access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man rule. 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure it's going to teach us all the other stuff. Alright. The dog is off. I know, I know. I, I missed you too. Let her enjoy the moment. She's been visiting your door every morning for the past 300 years. <laughs> oh, what? It must have been so hard on her. Not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little? You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. <laughs> First lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of old. And they're right. You are a hero. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. <laughs> I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. <laughs> okay. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. <laughs> Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. Agatha the Witch. Hello, my sweet girl. The dog is pretty ugly. <laughs> Not trying to be that guy, but you know, <laughs> it is pretty ugly. <laughs> yeah, let me go see him. Think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell, preventing him from incinerating this facility. I think we're good. And just in time. The forge has certainly changed. Right. <laughs> Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? Sumerian fire demon. His name is Babs. Oh, now it all makes sense. Well, once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation, <laughs> I've found this thing actually has some uses. Molecular bonding, breaking down evil gamma serums, fashion accessorizing... Mm, yes, speaking of... <laughs> oh, right. It's ready. Your armor seemed to offer minimal protection against the Venom creature. I noticed. Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Well hammered, well fired. Caretaker did not mention that you two are such skilled smithies. Yep, I am Iron Smithy. Perhaps you should just try it on. No, I will be. Okay, that looks way better. Better. Still think I could have used a cloak. <laughs> this guy in his cloaks. Stylish, damn near indestructible, and we even got the size right. Not bad for our first collaboration. Hunter, your new attire suits you quite well. But how are you? I know it's easy to look upon me and simply see the universe's utmost authority on all things mystical and macabre, <laughs> Hunter. However, in addition to being Earth's Sorcerer Supreme, 
I am also. You mean a physician of the medical arts? You jest. <laughs> I assure you, Hunter, I do not jest. They don't call me Mr. Strange, now do they? So, your awakening ritual was admittedly a touch more chaotic than I had originally intended. did not awaken me to discuss feelings, Doc. Ah, yes, you mean complete your <laughs> took away. destiny and bring about the destruction of your... How you feel is just... I, for one, do not know if I will ever feel 100%. I still can't believe what... With all my resources, all my... Speaking of your sanctum... Seen this outcome Lilith's power has placed a dark shroud over us all. Your words <laughs> gave me a point. <laughs> still, I must not allow the underlying truth of the situation to be. It's not just the Sanctum Santorum that was lost yesterday. It was my protege, Wanda. She was, is, my. But I am determined not to let that happen with you, Hunter. Which is why I am here to answer any questions right. you may have. Perhaps my. We just not gonna save her. Let us talk later. Visit whenever you like. It's not often I get to converse with a true legend. All right, Tony, what you got for me? I hate to admit it, but somehow this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame. Who would have thought mystically bound demon power would be so damn energy efficient? <laughs> Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I... It is not... Anytime. I tried to make this version a little less palatable. I was this close to making it menthol. But tools are just one part of the equation. You got it. You were out, what, 300 years before we woke you from your eternal rest? I'm betting you have questions, so ask away, Hunter. 300 years is crazy. I take it that. Impact resistant carbon composites, some patent pending. And hey, the built in communicator means we can talk to each other without sending. <laughs> So it is lightweight, nearly indestructible. Frankly, I wouldn't have used your old suit to wax them in. You must have an in. Well, just your typical American boy. Pops <laughs> was a founding member of the military and dust. Tragedy struck when I lost them both in a car crash, which turned out to be a hit from a rival corporation. I spent my early teens at MIT trying to clear my head. It was all set to. F then one day, fortune shined on me in the form of some errant shrapnel that lodged itself just above my heart. So yeah. I did what anybody in that situation would do. I built it. I guess we have all... <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I can't tell you how hard it was to memorize all that at Skrull Sleeper Camp. Just kidding. There you go. Anytime. Remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you found from that hopped up hydro... If you have a minute, meet me at the anvil over there and I'll walk you through it. I promise. This? Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at ye old demon hunting school, so I'm just gonna give you the condensed version. I appreciate that. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it coil for now, given its <laughs> unique atomic structure. Man, I love acronyms. This stuff is more volatile than he really does on a Monday morning. But Hydra doesn't seem to mind. They're using it to get stronger. Exactly. A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foom. Thankfully, with a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted oven over here, I think two can play at this game. You are not suggesting we start injecting ourselves with it. No, 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 nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line. I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. I like where this is going. Sounds pretty good. Just give me a little time here and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? Ooh, new coil. Let's get to work. Let's see what we've got here. So essentially this will... 
Give us new cards, yeah. For you. Hot off the press. Or forge. Okay, hold on. Here, do you have that? Uh, okay. <laughs> Big Tony's I mean, I'll, mystery. Never I'll take that, I guess. Hunter, when you have a minute, come meet me in the yard. Uh, if I can combine them to make it stronger, makes sense. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. Welcome to the yard. At least that's what we're calling it these days. Caretaker would be in train. charge of your training. Too bad she didn't listen to me yesterday. Now that we know what we're up against, I think we can all use the practice. <laughs> Any questions? Nope. None. All right, then. Upgrade in ability. Practice makes perfect. I mean, I'm the only one that has, uh... Caretaker said I need to be a team player. So I guess I'm letting you choose for me, too. Bro, I thought you, they said we could make this into something now. What's up? Buddy, you... Tell me about the Midnight Suns. You called me over here. <laughs> All right. Why did you join? Guess I never found the right. Is that all? No, but that's all I'll share for now. If I trust you, I'll have more to say. Okay. Do you have any? I think we're the only ones aware of the danger Lilith. And I think we're pretty green. But enough training will get it. Speaking of training, we doing this or? I had. Of course you. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. So I talked to him to train. Like the way you move out there, Hunter. Guess Doctor Strange picked the right supernatural demon hunter to resurrect. <laughs> I'm Carol. Carol Danvers. But you can call me Captain Marvel. Mm -hmm. Kidding. Carol's fine. Just thought I'd throw a bone to the Avengers PR team. Not gonna lie. Going a few rounds in Vampire Guy's Magic Thunderdome sounds like fun. But we've got bigger fish to fry. Well... Not so much fish as that ginormous and vulnerable sewer monster that swallowed the sanctum. <laughs> Every lock has its... True, if only a man-eating alien demon monster hadn't eaten ours. But that got me thinking. Strange caretaker and the rest of the funky bunch can try and magic their way through that shield all they want. <laughs> if my time as a pilot taught me one thing, it's that sometimes you've got to find a workaround. As in Hydra. They've got to know the way inside. Steve's always said they aren't much for talking. But then again, I'm told I can be rather persuasive when I need to be. Just how far are you willing... Let's just say that I'm willing to unleash the power of a quantum singularity white hole on them if need be. A uh, quantum... what? You'll see. <laughs> Find me in the war room when you're finished here. There's a few things we should discuss. Oh, and Hunter? Welcome back from the dead. Thanks.